My name's Effie. I'm a glass artist. I cast quite ordinary things like broccoli and Romanescu cabbage, and then I like to make extraordinary landscapes. I'm Kate Holland, and I'm currently in the old library at Harwood House, and I'm a bookbinder. I'm Jenny King. I've got an embroidery studio called Jenny King Embroidery, and we've taken inspiration from the room uh, to show our embroidery craft. This house is the most incredible place for great craftsmanship and incredible makers. And because we've supported contemporary art and contemporary artists for 30 years now, we decided that actually we wanted to do a show all about contemporary craft and design. And we've invited 26 of the most incredible makers from all over the country with a very diverse set of designs, products and pieces that they've created. Since the 1780s, the Lassells family have commissioned some of the finest British craftspeople to work on the interiors of the house and the architecture and the grounds. The title of the exhibition, Useful, Beautiful, Why Craft Matters, really harks back to those days that something could be very beautiful but also very useful. Really what we're doing is adding a layer of contemporary craft to have an interesting dialogue between past and present and show that these skills that have gone into creating this fascinating historic house are still very active today. We work on the Singer Irish machine and they stopped being produced in the 1950s or 60s. So yeah, the machines are really old and it's all very manual. Um, the, the machines have like a knee bar that dictates the width of the stitch. So it's, we kind of like freehand the stitches and sort of like paint with the needle. By using familiar things, people are sort of drawn into the work, but it's got another worldly quality. So. I like making things that are also delightfully strange and people can make different connections with. Faye Tugut has taken over the long gallery with an installation called The Archive. Faye's showing 35 pieces from 15 years worth of work that's come out of her studio. We have a local Wakefield-based paper sculptor, Andy Singleton, and he's hanging two significant pieces of work in the main library. Max Lamb came up and foraged for 50 kilograms worth of bark and leaves and berries in January from the Harbour estate with Trevor Nicholson, the head gardener. He then died naturally by hand, his own hands, 100 kilograms of surplus Yorkshire wool. And from this naturally dyed wool, he's created a series of seven rugs which are being shown in the yellow drawing room. Perhaps what craft really is, something which is very personal to us. It is something to do with the values of making and sustainability, supporting local skills, and really thinking about what we buy and where we buy things from now. Craft brings communities together, and I think it's no surprise that we're seeing a resurgence of craft in times where people are really looking for physical connection to each other, to materials, to the world that we live in. Thank you.